The Turkish president was last in Saudi Arabia almost five years ago. At the time, he was trying to mediate between Gulf Arab states and Qatar in a dispute over Qatar's foreign policy, which resulted in a blockade. But that issue has since been resolved. We are trying to improve our cooperation with Qatar, as well as with other countries in the Gulf. We welcome the diplomatic efforts made in the Gulf region to reopen the doors of dialogue and to resolve misunderstandings. As Turkiye, we will continue to advance our relations with our brothers and sisters in the Gulf within the framework of our common interests and mutual respect without making any distinction. President Recep Tayyip Erdogan's visit to Saudi Arabia is the latest in a series of initiatives to repair relations in the region. The foreign minister of Bahrain was welcomed to Ankara in November. The same month, the crown prince of Abu Dhabi came to Turkey, which was followed this year with a reciprocal visit by President Erdogan. Efforts are also underway to improve relations with Egypt, an ally of these Gulf Arab states. One of the reasons for the reconciliation is money. Turkey is looking to attract foreign investment to boost the economy. And the other states want to do business too. But there has been a big problem. The 2018 assassination of journalist Jamal Khashoggi in the Saudi consulate in Istanbul. A crime which the Turkish president said was ordered by the highest levels of government. But a trial in absentia involving 26 Saudi suspects has been halted and handed over to Saudi Arabia because there's little chance of bringing the accused to justice. Ankara has been keen to move forward for some time. We will continue our talks and thus we will do the necessary work to re-establish stronger relations between Saudi Arabia and Turkey. President Erdogan's previous trip to Saudi Arabia was billed as an attempt at mediation. This time it can be seen as a visit to pave the way for a more comprehensive official trip in the months to come.